Hey guys, Zekt here and welcome to my new video. Today with the LAN rework and as always I brought a friend as my guest today. I'm here with Arya Sama, also a good friend from my um, old, like from my guild. He's not playing Z anymore sadly, but uh, hey Arya, <laughs> thanks for joining. And Hello, thanks for having me. He will guide us through the LAN changes. Um, LAN didn't get so much, so this video will be probably not that long. However, Arya, please guide us through the LAN changes. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, so we could start technically with the, um, yeah, with the range pull we had um, before. That's the L1 input and the LB input on console. Um, the change here is that it's not that you can use it on cooldown now. Um, uses quite much of VP, but um, that was definitely, well, definitely, def definitely a challenge in PVE um, for Awakening. So I think that's a really good change. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of it for pre-awakening, actually. <laughs> yeah, pre-awakening only got that one change, but uh, we have to see if this is nice for pulling. But uh, if that's if that's able to pull you a lot of mobs, that's definitely nice pulls. So yeah, I think definitely. we can uh, jump to Awakening then, right? Yeah, let's start with uh, Taunting Death, actually. Taunting Death, this one. Right, yeah. Um, so the changes are the following. Um, so you don't uh, consult any more stamina. Um, so that's been totally removed. Um, what's new as well is that the attack range and act activation speed has been increased. Um, and the, well, you only technically use it for PvE anyways, um, but now you can use it as a filler skill in PvP. Um, it's like two or three seconds, which you can stay in um, super armor, so that's quite nice. Um, yeah, it's super armor now, and that's kind of it. Uh, the uh, damage multiplier has got a bit uh, increased, but uh, you didn't use it as a, well, damage skill mm. anyways. But uh, the stiffen is gone, right, for PvP? Yeah, yeah. The so stiffen is gone. It's lost Go the CC and got the protection. Yeah, okay. yeah, right. It's good just so you can, um, well, recover a bit of stamina while staying in super armor. Yeah, it will probably help you then with uh, sustaining your stamina while being protected. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, yeah, nice little change. Uh, let's go to the next skill then. Um, yeah, the next skill is Earthly Pain. Um... That skill, I have to admit, um, not most LAN used on console um, due to the FPS problems and issues, but on PC it was quite, uh, quite nice as a, um, well, you use it in a combo. Um, so what they did here is that they have deleted the uh, absolute skill and changed it uh, to a single level skill. If you could show it right now, Zach. Yeah. That's kind of it. Was so, there a, was there a core version of that skill before? No, oh, okay. not that kind of remember. But um, yeah, as I mentioned, it's kind. It was kind of useless, um, and it well still kind of is. So it has a floating on a uh, good two hits. Um, well, yeah, as I mentioned, PC players used it. Well, console did they not really. change any numbers to that skill, or is it the same? Yeah, it's the same. It's the it's same. The same. Okay, yeah, then it's not many changes to that. All right, what's what do we have next? Um, from the next skill, we have the Bridal Despair skill. Um, yeah, right. Um, so it's not a single stage skill anymore. Um, but a skill that requires a skill level. Um, I don't know. I don't exactly know what they mean by that. But, um, um, I think they mean just yeah. to, you need to level it like oh. this, right? <laughs> and you can you can also see like this is still bug in the skill menu. It says earthly play uh, earthly pain if you go to rank three and rank two and one. Oh. Yeah, oh, okay. it's it's, uh, it's global apps, but yeah. <laughs> so you need okay. to, you need to rank it now. Okay. Um, so the changes about uh, about this skill. Okay, that was a one hundred percent. That was one hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, yeah, the attack range has been increased. Um, and you can technically use it uh, together with Flow Mangla now. Um, I don't know if that's quite useful, but anyways, it's change. Yeah, exactly. Um, and to mention is that the absolute bridal skill has been uh, added as well. Uh, so the core version then. 
Yeah. You can uh, put a stun on that now, then. On the frontal guard, mm -hmm. it's probably not that bad. Yeah, not that bad. Um, good also, maybe, for stamina uh, sustain. I'm not quite sure, though. Well, yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of it. But uh, we have to see how this works on live servers. Um, yeah, definitely. But, uh, definitely. yeah, the range is definitely a bit bigger, so kind of nice. So next skill. Next skill is the Flaming Blade, a.k.a. the attack speed buff. Um, uh, let me quickly find it again. There. So what they have changed here... Um, yeah, technically there is no core skill for it anymore. Um, not, I don't know if anyone used it, actually. Um, and it only has a signal level skill now. I don't know if that's any useful as well. But no. um, the, the attack speed increased um, by a multiplier of 15% and is active for 15 seconds as well. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I think it was 10% attack speed increase before. So they got more attack speed for you to use then? Yeah, right. Yeah, a bit faster, everything. It's 5% is kind of kind of huge. Yeah. I think that's noticeable, definitely. 100%. So Lara got a bit faster with that then. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Help her. It's not like she's already fast enough, but okay. Um, uh, what I can think of uh, right now is um, as a starter, if I don't know, in duels, for example, you could use that skill. Um, you can also cancel it with a sidestep if you want to try it now. Yeah, right. And you get the attack speed increase as well. Um, and you could also chain that with uh, Taunting Death. Uh, all right, let me quickly... Uh, no. I, I think I made it wrong, but... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. Yeah. So you have those two buffs active at the same time. So that's quite nice. Um, the problem before, or the issue before, was... Um, that Taunting Death, of course, used um, stamina, and Lan is definitely a, well, definitely a class which suffers from stamina consumption, from, from unnecessary stamina consumption, but I think that's quite nice as an opener. Um, yeah. Um, also, flailing, flailing Blades is a skill you always have to keep up, so... Yeah, um, I see most of your Lans use that. And yeah, and, you, and especially when you cancel it, doesn't even you don't even lose time. Yeah, one hundred percent. Really nice. So, uh, yeah. Lan, Lan got a bit faster here. So, what skill do we have next? Um, that's, <laughs> I think that's <laughs> the most uh, funny change. Um, the eradic eradication skill. Um, <laughs> um, it's quite funny because the history of this is because um, on the Lan Discord, for instance, they said <laughs> just lock the skill; it's useless. Um, but now they have changed this uh, skill quite heavily. Uh, what you can honest. what you can see here is the old version. Um, the new version will look like this then. If you could show it, yeah, right. So it's um, kind of nice. It's a fast opener. Um, I don't know. It, does it have a stiff? Stiff into knockdown. Stiff into knockdown. Okay, and you can. I think you can also use it as a core skill, right? Yeah, you can put a frontal guard on it. Uh, yeah, so that's definitely something new. I don't so, know how it will look like on live service and so when you use it. Um, but, so yeah. pr pretty good engage. Yeah, seems to be. Um, next skill would be Blood Moon Twist. Blood um, Moon Twist. Let me actually find it real quick. This one, okay. Yeah, yeah right. So this one's a um, like mid-range CC, unprotected. Uh, this was the old version again. When the skill yeah. menu, when now we see the new version, it looks like this. Yeah, it's unprotected. Um, I don't know how it will look like on live servers again. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a nice change as well. Um, so the old skill, old skill was also just used as, um, well, if you want to uh, reset your combo um, before. And now, uh, now it's a mid-range CC, so it's quite nice. Um, yeah, it's also also provided some DP before. But, yeah. Yeah, mid-range knockdown, not, not that bad, actually. It's unsafe, but, I mean, 
depending on how you use, I think that will still have its use. Maybe even small scale of fights or large scale fights, you can quickly throw that in somewhere to get some CCs on people. That's not Yeah, definitely. Bad. As Lannis is, uh, well, Lan is a class which goes behind the enemy, um, comes from the back with the fighting skill, and if no one notices, notices you and you, well, do that skill, I don't know what it will look like. Yeah, but uh, I think it's definitely a better option than the skill it was before. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, uh, was that all for Awakening or do, do we miss something? No, we do have something more. Um, that's a Bleeding Heart skill. All right, that skill. Um, that was a 12 seconds cooldown before. Um, now it's a 9 seconds cooldown. Uh, so it's a cooldown decrease. Um, and it also got improved damage from... 1.1k to 1.4k percent. Um, well, the improvements are that the um, you can use the taunting uh, death skill afterwards faster. Taunting. Oh wait, I, th I think I just did it. This one, right? Was this it was Flo Mangala, I think. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Sorry. <laughs> Right, yeah. That's definitely that's basically it, and I fixed an issue. But let's kind of so full, full, fully for protected. That skill. Huh? F fully protected. It's not bad. Oh yeah, fully protected. Um. Then we have the tailspin skill. Um. What they changed here is that um. Y you only benefit basically from the second hit. Um. While using the skill, so it has a float on the second hit, right? <laughs> and they change the damage of it. So damage is higher then, or did you nerf it? Yeah, they, they it's definitely higher, um, and it also has more hits on the second hit. Okay. Um, and the cooldown is decreased. So it was a K, uh, knockdown, a KD on the first hit before. No, it's a float on the second hit. PvE only, though. Mm-hmm. But more, more damage then. Nice for trading, maybe. maybe. Yeah. What they did here is um, that they reduced the um, uh, the hits on the first hit. It was four hits before um, to two hits. And on the second uh, hit, it hits for six times now instead of four. <laughs> So they basically move the damage from the first hit and the second hit into one hit, basically, then. Exactly. Like into the second hit, then. Yeah, okay. That's definitely... Exactly. It's faster damage, then, basically. Okay. Yeah, all right. And for ne for the next skill, we have a pretty small change for Fura. Um, basically, all that's it for there is that you can... Uh, that the attack range is increased. Oh, that was the flow as well. Sorry. Yeah, that was a flow. <laughs> we come to that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it for Fura. Um, the next one is Flow Mangler, which is used after, uh, yeah, mostly after Bleeding Hearts or Taunting Death. You can use it as well. Uh, wait a second. Uh, wait a second. I, where is it? Oh, here, here, here. Yeah. What did you change to it? Um, basically, that the attack range is, uh, has been increased, and um, after using Flow Mangler skill, it has been improved to be able to link to the Bleeding Heart skill. So that's it for the basically also so attack range. Okay. Um. Yeah. So now for the juicy changes. Okay. <laughs> um. The last signature move, I think, and the most hated move from. All, ca all classes, basically. The spin. Um, those those changes are quite overwhelming, to be honest. I didn't expect that at all. Um, so this skill, um, you were not able to move it while spinning. Um, so it was just a pure skill forward. But now you can, uh, well, can if you it wanted off. to... Yeah, you can turn it if you want to show it. Exactly. Um, that was something which was only possible with mouse movement on PC. Um, 
yeah, and now you can do it on uh, console as well. So that looks quite busted, to be honest. Can punish forward guard from the opponent quite uh, easily, to be honest. And uh, uh, paired with the paired with the uh, core skill, which gives uh, which provides uh, forward guard. Uh, really nasty skill now. Really nice. Well, it was already busted <laughs> with the core skill edi uh, edition, but now that you can move it. Um, or turn it around. It's just really sick, to be honest. Really strong, yeah. This is this will be really annoying to deal with, especially with, <laughs> when you get all the air attacks. When you get a float, it will be also a, like a lot of damage when you catch people. Yeah, definitely. Already, it will be a lot of damage then. It's also well, it's huge damage as well. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Right? <laughs> so, but uh, I think that's fair. Uh, a lot of classes got changes as well, so I think that's fine then. I, yeah, I mean, on, on PC it was already possible, right? So it's for, for us from console, it's definitely something nice to have. Yeah, and I also think um, those class reworks for LAN, for instance, are made for console players. Um, I don't know what they're, uh, what they're thinking, uh, what their idea behind that is. Maybe a future PC merge? I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe we don't know yet. I mean, they did the <laughs> same for Musa, so I have we have something we have something similar with our rework, so yeah. where we we where they implemented mouse movement into a skill usable with the controller, so yeah, I hope we will see this more actually then. Yeah, hope so as well. Definitely be good. Um, and the last skill for um, Awakening is the flow dancing with death, um, which is used after the Fura skill. Um, what they changed here is that it no longer has a KD effect, um, so it's only possible for PvE now. And um, what they changed as well is the number of hits. Um, it was six hits before, now it's eight. Um, so more damage. More damage in PvE, yeah. I don't think anyone would use it anymore. For PvP then, yeah. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. well, it's super armor, but... So it's kind of ah. nerf and a buff because you lost the safe CC, but uh, you got a bit more damage. Yeah. But, uh, to be honest, I don't think that Lan really was lacking safe CCs for her kid, but yeah, I think <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and I think if you, well, consider the spin changes, so that's quite fair. Yeah, that's All right. fair. Was there right. everything for uh, Awakening? Yeah, that's it for Awakening. All right. So. We will quickly spec to Succession. And we will be back in one second. So guys, here we are back in the succession spec. And Arya will tell us now what got changed for succession. From what I've heard so far, it's not a lot, right? Like damage or mechanical wise. No, definitely not. So uh, they haven't touched anything for the, uh, damage wise. Um, it's kind of only quality of life uh, skills and changes. Um, which will come to now. Um, so the prime bleeding heart skill or the cooldown has been re uh, reduced from 12 seconds to 10 seconds that skill exactly um the issue with this skill is well it's a super armor so it's quite nice for uh, pvp um but um for pve it's only kind of used as a uh, range pull i don't know how that will look like now with the um well changed range spell um, because you can use it on cooldown now, as we mentioned before. Um, yeah, that's it for Bleeding Hearts, for the Prime version. And uh, for the next skill, we have the Prime Symbidium. Prime Symbidium, what was that again? Uh, um, well, that was the circle <laughs> button for, you know, or the input for uh, PlayStation, but I'm not sure. No, that's... Uh, uh, I think that was the... Yeah, that was 100%, but that was the right skill. This one, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, the only thing that has changed here is that you can cancel it with this sidestep. Right. So, that's basically it <laughs> for that. So, not huge diff uh, huge changes, but that's also common for succession. Um, I mean, cancels are always good to have. Cancels are go always good to have, that's true. Um... Yeah, and it's also it also looks safe. Um, if you could do it again, yeah, looks like if you want to open up your combo or anything like that. I don't know how it will look like on live servers, of course. 
But, um, so what they've changed as well now is, uh, well, that was a huge animation uh, change, to be honest, um, that you can use a uh, prime Salpuri purge after using the prime primrose skill. So the backdash with the Salpuri purge. Do you remember it, Zach? Uh, I hope. <laughs> Wait a second. Wasn't it back circle? No, not back, uh, back circle. Only uh, the left button and backwards with the le left analog skills stick. Uh, no, wait. This. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this one. Okay, okay, okay. Was it? No. Sorry, wrong screw. I'm not playing LAN, so uh, people. Um, be calm, <laughs> please. Uh, what was the other input <laughs> again? <laughs> uh, so only uh, Prime Primrose, uh, so the backdash and the Sapuri Purge. Oh, you ca okay, you can't use that from Hotbar and that then you need to... Oh, okay. But uh, this is quite normal for console. We can't use Hotbar skills for cancelling. So you probably just need to press it then. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, good to know. Yeah, it looks like this. Right, that's how it looked like when chained together. So that's new. Um, Quite a cool. I mean, it's unsafe, but it's float. It's a fast engage. Uh, if you see an opportunity, it's not that bad. No, no, definitely not. So I don't know. Uh, I mostly played Awakening um, for PvP. I only use Succession for Sakura grinding, to be honest. Um, because Succession has its issues on console. Um, I don't know what's wrong there, to be honest. Um, the skill uh, damage changes. Well, it looks like. It's less damage on console than on PC, but I'm not sure if that's true or it does. It just feels like it because of the FPS. Yeah, I think all classes have a bit like a lot. Let's say a lot of classes have. Yeah. Uh, also, Suck Strikers think that like when I read from Suck Striker consoles, they're like, yeah, we're not pulling the same as on PC. But yeah. uh, maybe the same with uh, Cyclone. But let's get to the next skill then. Okay. Or to the next. Um, so for Prime Symbidium. Um, it has been improved so that it activates more smoothly when using conjunction with the following skills. So, um, did you find Prime Symbidium? Uh, no, what, what input was that again? I'm not quite sure as well right now. The problem is, it's there on Korean uh, uh, names. <laughs> I think that's that one. Wait, this one? No, no, no this is uh, the kick. Ah, uh, no, 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 I'm dumb. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, sure. S this one. Oh, that's, this one. Yeah, here. this okay. one. So what did what did they change to it? Um, basically only uh, channeling skills, so that it goes more smoothly with Phantom Dance. So that's the sidestep, um, Furious Change, uh, Chase, which is. Yeah. Okay. So it's so only linkage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only linkage. Okay. And um. For the last couple changes, there is the, um, well, Succession's signature move as well, um, the flying skill or the flying ab ab ability. <laughs> yeah, the ability to fly. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. So uh, when you use a spring, brief, a spring Breeze, it has been proved so that you can maintain the gliding state of the spring Breeze skills while using the Nimbus Stride skills. So that's basically um, quality of life. So Yeah, I, th I already saw that in some video. You can fly longer now, basically, I think. Basically, yeah. yeah. To put it in a nutshell, yeah, definitely. Um, I, I'm not a pro with flying land, so uh, I probably do it <laughs> wrong. So. No, you're doing good. No worries. I'm not a pro as well in succession. <laughs> yeah, only uh, were concentrated on awakening um but yeah the last really yeah that's the last change and that's salpuri purge so the skill you have on your hotbar um it's it links more smoothly with furious change chase and blooming blooming nether flower which is the spin so uh let... so salpuri this purge one. all right yeah yeah, that's okay. good that goes more smoothly yeah um, just just quality of life and linkage then 
But uh, like Cyclone then only got really like quality of life stuff. Yeah, I think Succession. Um, what their idea behind Succession is, um, I think that's already good enough. Um, so we had, uh, we didn't have many Succession LAN players who played in uh, in PvP, but uh, the ones who did it, um, <laughs> to be honest, they were quite annoying. <laughs> in they were ways. super yeah. annoying, man. <laughs> I, those, they were so annoying. Like when I can, when I remember our team with, with, with cannons, and then there was this boss team Saklan coming around, <laughs> flowing away. It was so annoying, man. <laughs> So for Succession, the general game plan is still the same. Um, for Awakening, it's it's also the same um, with some, to be honest, in my opinion, with some huge buffs um, um, and some and some changes actually. Um, but I think uh, all in all, Awakening got buffed. Um, I'm not quite sure if those buffs were needed. Um, I don't know. Well, I don't know how the other classes got buffed. Um, yeah, I think Lan yeah. is already uh, really like in a strong. I think those changes are fair, but uh, I don't see PA giving Lan more really because, in my opinion, what like where, what her job is, she's like a, being a duelist, flank, something like that. She's always she's already one of the best, if not the best, when it comes to duels. When it like kit wise, she's also yeah. really easy, and they made even a more a few things more easy. No, yeah. and uh, so I think that's fair. Uh, Aria, do you have any feedback or anything you want to add? You want to see future for LAN or anything you're missing? Um, to be honest, um, these changes were kind of good for LAN. Um, the only issue I had while playing LAN is, um, well, technically LAN has the only issue, and that's the stamina consumption, and it kind of lacks um, group play in some ways. Um, and that was all because of stamina consumption, to be honest. And with these changes now, with taunting death, um, where you can stay in uh, super armor for two or three seconds, um, where you can sustain it, um, and the other skill changes, um, I don't know, for um, Blood Moon Twist, the mid-range CC, um, Lan is a, technically a, t a class which goes behind the enemy um, while flying mm. uh, lands, and I don't know how this will affect the uh, group play but the only issue i really wanted to see as a console player uh, compared to pc was the spin so that you the can spin, move yeah. it in any direction i think that's the biggest change and the most important change console players uh, especially um wanted to have and i think that's quite fair yeah that's nice then so that was everything for landing guys not much if there's any changes like massive changes in the future we will probably do another video and uh, when it comes to passives um also plants passives didn't get touched so my no. guess is that they, they will probably make this in like one update the next month where they will touch the passives of the classes they also promised to give one unique plant passive to all classes what is not necessarily something that you use in battle for example the hashashin walks fast in desert stuff like that we, <laughs> yeah who is something else for lan maybe maybe she can fly longer or something like that i don't know it will most likely be something with quality of life that maybe will help you with pv or pvp in some areas of the game but yeah, guys, Arya, thanks for joining and thanks for explaining sure. the, the changes. Um, Anytime. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with that being said, guys, we see us in the next video and see you next time. See ya.